good morning students in this session we'll continue with the same heading statistics today let us know how to find the median of grouped data so in previous class we learned how to find mean and how to find mode for grouped data today let us learn how to find median of group data so before going to that let us recall how to find the mean for finding mean again we have three steps direct method assumed method and step deviation method direct method mean is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f here f is frequency x is class mark or mid value of class interval and as you know sigma is sum of assumed method mean is equal to sigma fd divided by sigma f here a is assumed mean and i, I told you in the value of x we will consider the lowest value for taking the value for a so so that our answer will be in positive and d is nothing but just an x minus a subtracting the mid value from assumed mean last step is step deviation method mean is equal to a plus sigma f u divided by sigma f into h here u can be found using the x minus a divided by h here here h is nothing but class size or difference between the upper limit and lower limit this is about mean and mode we have formula for mode l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h so here l is lower limit of the model class h is size of class interval f1 is frequency of model class here we'll select the highest frequency as f1 and the number which is previous to f1 we consider as f0 that is frequency of class preceding the model class and the next to the the number which is next to f1 we will consider as f2 which is the frequency of class succeeding the model class this is about mean and mode today let us go to the median how to find the median of grouped data so we'll observe as you all know median is nothing but the the middle most observation in the data here we'll consider the mid term middle most observation in the data in 9 standard we they were going to give some numbers as ungrouped data we used to arrange them in increasing order or decreasing order and we and marking the middle most term but in 10 standard you have one formula to find the median as mode as we learnt formula in mode as same we have formula for median median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf divided by f into h observe median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf divided by f into h let me know what are these terms as l is nothing but lower limit of median class in mode we took a lower limit of model class but here lower limit of median class n is number of observation n is number of observation or as we did in mean sigma f that means adding all the frequency will get the sigma f here instead of sigma f we are taking it as n number of observation next we have one a term called as cf cf is nothing but a cumulative frequency cf is cumulative frequency it is nothing but here cumulative frequency of class preceding the median class that means we are selecting the cumulative frequency which is preceding means previous previous median class that means in frequency we'll going to consider one median before that be previous to that median class will select the cf in the cf column 
let me know in previous uh, let me know how to find the cf next next slide next f is nothing but frequency of median class f is frequency of median class as you all know h is class size again median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf divided by f into h l is lower limit of median class n is number of observation cf is cumulative frequency of preceding the median it is a previous to median class frequency f is frequency of median class h is class size next let me let me know how to find cf and how to identify f how to take lower limit how to take h as you again formula l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h l is lower limit of median class e number of observation or sigma f cf is cumulative frequency of class preceding the median class f is frequency of median class h is class size now for example observe the table class interval 0 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8 8 to 10 the first thing h is easy to find as you all know the difference between the class interval here 0 to 2 2 to 4 what is the difference between class interval here 2 and they have given the frequency 2 8 5 3 2 here sigma f or n here remember here we are not taking it as sigma f here instead of sigma f we are naming it as n small n or capital n you can take any one so adding all the frequency we will get n now how to find cf observe how to find cf just adding the frequency to the succeeding frequency adding frequency to the succeeding frequency observe here here this column cf column the 2 is repeated as it is here 2 is repeated as it is because if nothing is else before this we have to consider it as 0 0 plus 2 is 2 only or either remember that just the in first row you have to copy the same number to the cf next adding to the preceding term that means 2 here like this 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 3 18 18 plus 2 20 and the last column what we got the answer should match n if it matches to n value then the cf what you have done is correct if it is not correct matching both the numbers then you have to repeat the cf again or recheck the cf observe first step is how to find the cf column the first number copy as it is means is nothing but 0, zero plus 2 is 0 2 so copy the same number as it is and to get the next cf value you have to add, add to the succeeding frequency means next frequency 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 3 18 18 plus 2 20 here the last value of cf will be same as the n value if both are same your cf is correct clear now after finding this we have to identify f and cf correct we have to identify f and cf for this a simple thing is is you have to half or divide n by 2 that means you have to take half of n here n is 20 here n is 20 so if i take 20 by 2 so if i make half of 20 i got answer 10 so here 10 we have to observe the value of 10 in cf sometimes this value will be in cf otherwise we have to see the range for example for example observe if n is if for example if n is 18 if n is 18 i will make it as half so 18 by 2 it became 9 correct so here 9 i have to observe in which range it will present for example 9 is present in these two correct 2 to 9 9 is there in between these two numbers 2 to 10 so in the same way we have to select the range in the cf 
so observe here the value itself for 10 here our value n by 2 itself for 10 so 10 is already present here so this n by 2 is already here so in this case you have to select the first number as cf first number you got two numbers here already you got the range 10 already it is present in cf but you have to select the you will get the two range number ranges first range second range always take first range as your cf i'll take another example please observe for example our n value let me consider it as like 22 clear let me consider our n value or this all this adding of all frequency i got value 22 if i take half of 22 i'll get 11 and remember always these number will not present in cf just you have to observe the range here our answer is uh, n is 20 if you take half of 20 you got 10 10 is already present in cf but most of the time the value of n by 2 will not be in cf just you have to take the range now observe my let us consider my value n, n value is 22 if i take half of 22 i got 11 so here let me consider the range of 11 where the 11 might be present so the, our range is this one correct 11 is present between 10 to 15 so at this case you have to take the first range as your cf clear so first copy the table as it is for finding the mid copy this class interval and frequency second step is adding all the frequencies you will get n n value then find cf adding the frequency to the succeeding frequency and the last value of cf cumulative frequency will be same as the value of n then the next step is you have to take half of n half of n or n divide n by 2 n by 2 the value of n by 2 check the range in the cf you will get two range first range and second range always take first number as your cf clear so observe here our value is 10 so 10 is already present here so previous to this i took the as cf let us take one more click to be clear so my n value if i take n value as 30 clear so if i take half of 30 you will get the value of 15 correct so 15 where it is 15 here but don't take 15 as the cf previous to this the number this 10 will be the cf clear so this is how to find the cf next we got cf now here 2 is cf clear the next to the that means as observe here cumulative frequency means we are taking the frequency class preceding to the median class previous that means if this is the previous what will be the next frequency in this this will be the next frequency clear so this is the frequency of median class previous to this median class we are taking it as cf so this is cf so i gave a simple trick always remember some most of the time they will find f then they will go for cf but the easy thing is first finding cf and then find f it won't be confused for you clear so so here our cf is 2 so next to the cf what will be the f here 8 next or you can remember the previous cf to the median class so now 8 is median now or the f will consider as frequency and the frequency median class will be the lower limit we will consider it as lower limit and h is range 2 clear so this is how to find the h l f n by 2 and cf so observe first add all the frequencies you will get n take half of n you will get n by 2 observe the range in the cf that n by 2 and if it is exact value mark previous to that exact value you will take it as cf next to cf of next to cf you consider it as f in the frequency line and parallel to frequency you take it as l and you will get h 
and substitute these values to the formula and you will get the mean and here also first in formula first you have to subtract here then the obtained answer should be multiplied to h then divide by f then add to l here clear next and now you got how to find before going to exercise let me conclude this so you have know about mean you know about mode and now we learned how to find the median and this is a very important question for one mark so they may ask what is the relationship between between three measures of central tendency or they may give write the relationship between mean median and mode so here we have one relation between all the three so what is that relation three times of median is three median means three times if the value if i multiply three times the median will be equal to one time mode that is mode plus two times of mean clear this is our relationship between three times of median is equal to mode plus two times of mean so this is the relationship between the mean median mode first you remember the median median will come three times of median is equal to mode plus mean clear three one two so three times of median is equal to mode plus two times of mean so for one mode if we add two times of mean we'll get three times of median the answer will be equal here so this is about the relationship between mean median mode three times of median is equal to mode plus two times of mean so this is our relationship so now let us next is exercise